And I'm here at the Celebration Grounds with CEO Warren Wells, and we're going to go over the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Warren, I appreciate you being with us today. And uh, to be honest, a lot of people are looking forward to this one. Yeah, yeah. Well, well th thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as always, I appreciate it. It's always good to talk about what we have coming up. Um, you know, in my opinion, the, the excitement level is up. Um, you know, we, when I came in last year, I, I tried to figure out, you know, how to read what the celebration is going to look like. How do we start knowing if we're going to be a, a big show or not? Uh, and my opinion is it's, it's three things that we kind of look at. You know, what, what are the box seat sales? What, what, what are those looking like? Um, what are entries uh, looking like? And um, what are the shows leading up to us? You know, what, what are their entries kind of, kind of been like? Where, where's that excitement? And, um, you know, so the shows leading up to here have been great. Uh, pe people are loving it. Um, some of the best show season we've had in a, in a long time, I keep hearing. Uh, and then last year, box seats were, uh, I think you've heard me say it, were just astronomical. I mean, they, there was a huge jump in box seat sales. So I was a little nervous to see you can only grow so much year after year. Right. And so when you have that kind of big jump, uh, you're wondering what this year is going to look like. And uh, we came out of the gate up over last year every month, and we've continued every month uh, to be over where we were last year. So I anticipate that we're going to have good crowds again this year, maybe bigger than last year. Uh, you know, COVID started hitting us pretty hard, and, and it definitely did hit the, the, you know, our industry hard uh, last year. And then the last thing is entries. So uh, the deadline was yesterday, uh, entry deadline you know, was at 5 o'clock yesterday. So we don't know exactly where we are on entries. Uh, a lot of people think at 5.05 we, we know exactly where we are. <laughs> I wish we did because I'd sleep a lot better last night if I, if I knew that. But uh, the team was working until 10 or 11 o'clock last night, uh, counting those and making sure they're right and, uh, and getting those numbers. So we'll, we'll know pretty soon. But, uh, and I hate to say, you know, use anecdotal information, but anecdotally when I was in the office and I would stop by and see people and just see you know, how many entries are you doing, uh, almost everyone had more entries this year than last. Everybody uh, I've talked to have said that. Yeah, so that's, that, that's a great sign. It, it's, it's not scientific, but uh, it's, it's about as good as we're going to get right now. And so I, I'm excited about that. I, and with entries being up so much last year and the fact that it seems like most of the people I'm talking to have more, uh, I feel great about it. Well, I know a lot of people, and, and myself included, uh, I've never entered a horse at the celebration okay. because I never thought I had one that was good enough to compete. This year I do. So, so, I'm, 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 so you, I'm, 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 I jumped in, so yeah. I know you're up one. Yes, I yeah, know that. 100 percent increase right here. So we'll take 100 percent increase on me. But a lot of people I've talked to are really looking forward to. Jerry Williams got two lead line going. Mm, I awesome. mean, and and he talks. We talk about the tough classes. He, that's the toughest one in the bunch. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah. But there's a lot of competition this year, and that's something that is real exciting. There's no clear cut. I'm the one out yeah. here that anybody has seen. Yeah. Uh, old Troubadour showed up the other night, of course, that got everybody, you know, yeah, up. Yeah. But when you look at that class and how many good ones are in there, you, you got some of these guys have, have taken them four year olds into the state class. So, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be something. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be an exciting year. Well, also y'all have done a lot of improvement on the grounds. Yes. I've seen the David Howard entrance out here but there's other yeah things that yeah um, and, and some of it some of it has happened uh, just uh, you know circumstances kind of came up and then other things have been uh, you know me and the board have been uh, full steam ahead on uh, we, we want our customers we want our sponsors we want our supporters to know you know we, we are not sitting stagnant we are moving forward uh, we're gonna do everything we can and so um, yeah so we have so several projects we have going on uh, we had a storm come through and hit three of our uh, three of our barns and there was luckily it was the old barns uh, so we got a little bit of insurance money and so we sat down with the board and thought you know the insurance money is not going to pay to replace everything uh, it, it would you know barely replace one barn but we wanted to build all three of them back and so we tore down three barns and we're building three brand new barns back um, there were people, you know, they're not, a lot of people were thinking that uh, we have three new barns completely, but they, people were in those barns last year, they got torn down, and so we're, we're, we're going to figure out how to, how to do those. Um, another, uh, you know, weather thing that happened, uh, a lot, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but we had a huge sinkhole form in center ring this year. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm, I'm taking a person out there to look at, uh, at mowing our grass for this year and, and, uh, and, and who's going to spruce up the center ring and there's a huge hole out there. Um, and so we, we looked at, we, we got it filled up and we don't have any long-term issues with it. Uh, but then we had to replace the sod. And um, you know, over, over, the, over time, sod mutates and the genetics right. change. So it was impossible for us to match that sod. 
Um, and so we had to go, we, we, we made the decision that we're not going to have uh, one part of the grass look different right. than the rest. We changed the whole thing out. I don't blame you. It looks like a, like a baseball field out there. It is coming in nicely. It's striped. Um, and I think it's small things like that. When you're sitting in the stands and that turf is going to be perfectly uh, uniform, it's going to be striped like a baseball field. You know, this is, this is, this is, our, this is a world-class horse show, and, and we're going to invest in it for that. Um, we talked about the David L. Howard um, uh, gate. You know, if you haven't seen it yet, it, it looks awesome. It, to me, it reminds me of like a like a small uh, college baseball stadium or something. It, it definitely, uh, it, again, is, is great for our world class horse show. Um, and so that we're thankful for the Howard family uh, to, to to make that contribution uh, to, to the celebration. But those are those are kind of the the, the big things that, that we have we have going on right now. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you in all honesty, I, I knew David. David was one of the main reasons I was on the showground video and he and I had a lot of great conversations but the things he did for this industry that a lot of people may know or may not know yeah that right there is, is in his honor and, and it's it's a good thing it yeah. really is and and we're hoping that, that that takes off we would love for something like that to happen at all of our gates and we thought that David Howard was the perfect person to start with to kind of set that caliber. You know, it needs to be someone who has devoted, you know, a, a large portion of their life to the celebration, who had a huge influence um, on it. Uh, you know, you're not going to name it after somebody like me. You know, somebody, somebody's had a long, long standing here. And so uh, we think that caliber, that, that, that playing field has been set, and uh, we hope to match it and hope other people want to come in. It's a good it. level. Yes. It really is. Yes. Well, I know a lot of things are happening. Uh, we arranged for the Platte River Band going to yeah, play yeah. on the first Saturday night. Uh, I've talked to two or three other different ones, other sponsoring that. Uh, some of them going to be using time. Allison Armstrong and, and Jake Jake's going to be using that time to hand out T-shirts and caps okay. and all yeah. this. So uh, the last time that was done, it was it was so crowded out there it wasn't funny. It's going to be right next to the BFW booth, so you can get good hamburger, pinto beans, whatever yeah. you want, a donut right down the road, and come right in celebration. And that's before the show. That's right? before take, the show. Yeah, that's about, it's going to go from an hour and a half to two hours before the show, yeah. because then the Flat River's got to go sing the National Anthem. We can't have a show without the National Anthem. That's right. Got to have right. it. And, uh, and then that same night, we'll have a band in the Blue Ribbon Circle. Yeah. Right. And so it, it, that, that will be, that first Saturday is, is going to be a big night. It's going to be a big uh, night. Start, you know, we're we're going to be starting at 4 o'clock, going all the way to midnight, I guess, on, hey, on music and fun. It, it, I used to be able to do that. I don't now. I have to get back to the <laughs> studio, but I know everybody yeah. over here is going to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. Well, Warren, I really appreciate you taking time out because I know you're busy, and I'm sorry I couldn't get all them entries counted for you. Yes. But yeah. uh, I was asked this morning, the first email, how many entries? Okay. I told him I'd give, let him know in a couple of yeah. days. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, and one of the things I hadn't mentioned right. that, that, I, that I just thought of, you know, it's, it's small things that we're changing. We're, we're, we're going to have uh, the barn decoration contest like we, like we have right. in, in many, many years. And um, I, I've kind of stepped up the, uh, the prizes a little bit. And so um, one thing that uh, no one knows it yet, so this will be the first time, is we're going to give a Yeti cooler away to the barn, the barn that wins with the celebration logo on it. So I think that's, a, that, that's kind of more exciting. Uh, than we have in the past and then something new that we're going to do um, is a golf cart decorating contest too so right. um, you know golf carts have kind of come the the way of life around here for the celebration everybody's getting one and um, uh, you see them everywhere so we, we're gonna we're gonna implement that this year too and the winner of that gets a yeti cooler with the celebration logo on it and so uh, just some exciting stuff well i will contribute to that i'll give you a one-year flip ad that you can give away to the best barn. Okay. They can put their logo on there and we'll let her rip. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you.